Hi, I'm Streaky, this is Metropolis Mastering, and today I'm going to be discussing what I know about Dither. So what do I know about Dither? To be honest, uh, I'm no layman stuff. I know what I need to use it for. I know what I can advise you on, but I'm not, I can't go into fundamental technical detail on it because it's just far too boring for me to be bothered to do that. So I'll give you a layman's term rundown of what you need to know about Dither and um, hopefully it will help you when you're exporting, importing, playing around with tracks. Um, now basically if you're transferring anything from, if you're downgrading any bitrate from say 24 to 16, you need to add dither. Basically what it's doing, you're going to lose a load of bits and what the dither does is add some noise to the signal to make up for make up for that, that difference. If you don't add the dither, it's going to give you truncations, which means it's going to uh, not add the noise and it's going to just go <laughs> but with the the dolphin noise that I just made, it's it can be very slight and 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 very subtle to the ear. It can be terrible, but it can be very subtle, so you might not hear it. Um, but with the dither in, you won't hear have any of that. So your peace of mind is that it's going to be okay. It can sound dreadful. It can sound okay. Now, which dither to use? That's really personal opinion, and you have to listen. Uh, there's some power ones out there that are quite good, um, but just go through, find out which one you use. Now, don't only use dither if you're coming down from, say, 32, 24, or 24 to 16. If you're going up, it's not going to make any difference because you don't need to add any noise to the, to the signal. It's just going to have some extra bits in there for a bit more resolution. Um, if you're recording... Now, it's best not to, if you're recording, it's best to just keep everything the same all the way through. Try and record at 24 or 32 and keep everything the same all the way through the recording. When you're exporting it to go to do mastering, export it at the bit rate that you made the track at. So if you've recorded everything at 24 bit and then you go to export it, export it at 24 bit because basically, it's no point in, in it coming down 16 bit and then when you master it, it's going to go back up and then it's going to go back down and blah, blah. You might as well leave it at its full resolution of what you've recorded it at so it's exactly the same. Similar thing to when you do sample rate conversion. Just leave it to the mastering house. They can sample rate convert it down in a lot better ways and sometimes you can just do it naturally through the equipment if they're analog mastering engineers. So to sum up, Take a listen, but you should always use dither if you're going down in in um, bit rate. Um, and try and keep everything at the same bit rate because you can't have some things in your software running at 16 and some at 24 and some at 32. Keep everything at the same bit rate. Otherwise, it's just going to sound crap and you'll get bad recordings. I hope that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, put them in the bottom as long as they're not... Um, really tacky boring ones because you won't get an answer but if it's something that um, I can help you with or any advice that you want then let me know if you've got any questions let me know and I'll answer them in another video thanks for watching till next time please subscribe <laughs> bye